Yo, Rhino, behavior analyst and creator, all things behavior analysis, which you'll find here on this channel. We nerd out on psychology here, and today, extrapolating a little bit more on a previous video that I hosted called The Functions of Behavior. In it, we leaned upon Cooper, Heron, and Heward's 2020 definition that describes a function-based definition as one that designates responses as members of the targeted response class solely in terms of their common effect on the environment. So, so far, we're talking about behavior that we engage in that is influenced by the environment, specifically through changes that occur after our behavior, consequences as we call them. So, for an example, let's look at ways in which your behavior may be maintained through what we would call tangible functions. So what are tangible items? Loosely, anything that is perceptible by touch. So any object that is around you, the phone or device that you're viewing this video on, or the food that you ate today, or the bed that you sleep in, or the camera that I'm shooting this video on, all of these are tangible items, all of this around me, right? If you think about our day-to-day -day behavior, there are a lot of things that we do that are for tangible items. Perhaps buying your coffee, going to work, and accessing those dollar bills, right? But there's a common issue with this approach, which is that behavior is then lumped into these categories called tangible maintained behavior. So let's use an example to illustrate why I'm throwing such heavy quotes on that, all right? If a behavior analyst walks into a new case and is given a behavior plan that says, Joanne's inappropriate behavior is maintained by tangible items, what does that actually tell me? Anything? I'd argue nothing much as I'm probably going to have to start guessing what items may be in the room and even then you have to continue looking in the classroom. There are so many different things, if you've ever looked in a classroom, around tens of thousands of potential tangible items are around us in our day to day all the time. So what is the solution? How do we not fall into this trap? Well, before I get there, quickly, this video is brought to you by patrons, people like you to support my efforts financially. And hear me out, for three years now, I've spent time and lost money, actually lost money, creating these videos because, well, I think they're important, the field's important, and they're important people doing important things that need to be heard by people like you. So, if it's something you're interested in, you can consider supporting me on Patreon. There's a link down below. It's a values-based model, some different perks and stuff. But I also have continuing education classes at thebehavioracademy.com that I host. So, let's rewind back. Let's get into this solution. So the solution, first it's just sticking to a clear explanation of the function through our definition. So something like Joanne's behavior is maintained by access to her favorite toys, the Tickle Me Elmo, and the Baby Shark game. But if you're forced to, and I don't really get why we should be less precise, but if you have to, you can say in a way that something like Joanne's behavior is maintained by sensory or tangible items in the form of, right? Tickle Me Elmo, et cetera, et cetera. The point here is that you are just trying to be as descriptive as you possibly can, avoiding large categories when possible. And why? Well, because a science of behavior requires precise terminology so we can categorize and understand the larger functional relations of patterns or patterns of human behavior. So if you wanna learn more about this, there's free resources down below you can go access. Uh, and if you wanna learn about why I think this line of thinking and large functional categories is kind of confusing and look at other functions of behavior, there's a playlist you can go check out over here. I hope you learned something. Like, share, subscribe, it actually makes a difference. Consider supporting or the CU courses down below, and I'll see you in the next one. That's your Daily BA.